Hi everybody, welcome to another exciting episode, another edition of A Week in Geekdom here on YouTube. This time we're back with another comic book review and I kind of wanted to deviate a little bit and talk to you guys about this little gem right here, Mirka Andolfo's Unnatural from uh, Image Comics. This was originally a Italian, an Italian production and an European uh, comic and it was recently translated into uh, English here in America so we finally get to read this. I'm a huge fan of Mirka's artwork in uh, Instagram plus her work on Harley Quinn and DC Comics bombshells so I was very interested in uh, just finding out what the hell was unnatural about. I I'll be honest with you, I had no idea, so this was a blind purchase. All I knew, it was some um, eh, not safe for work imagery here and there, but the whole book isn't like that. Now the story itself is about Leslie Blair, she's a blue-haired, she's a blue-haired uh, pig that is, that she lives in a society, I guess, or in an alternate earth where anthropomorphic animals uh, live in this totalitarian uh, uh, world where they have to pair up with the same species otherwise they will either get uh, jail time or uh, get executed for their crimes because it is unnatural and does not follow the laws of nature and you know really it's all one big uh, metaphor and social commentary for all the injustices when it comes to uh, sex love romance all that stuff that people face in today's world today's society whether it be uh, transgender people whether it be homosexuals whatever that may be just uh, yeah it goes into that it's not like super preachy because I know some people get like uh, offended by that for some reason uh, but the comic is pretty interesting like I said uh, anthropomorphic animals usually in a lot of people will dismiss a book like that as kind of uh, pervy storytelling but I've read some stories that you know you can do some very interesting quirky things with the way animals behave and their personalities they can be a lot more expressive or they can it, you can go further than what you can do with human characters like with a book uh, such as uh, Black Sad for example now I'm not saying this is the next great thing uh, like Black Sad because that is actually one of my favorite comics of all time this is more fun. It's more uh, quirky and, and, and spicy and just uh, it, it knows what it's doing. Mirka tells this uh, very simple story that evolves naturally as you go along and, and gets grander and grander into something that involves a little bit more about uh, folklore and uh, mythological themes and why characters behave in certain ways how this society has modeled itself after a sense of morality and the way they go about doing things and how uh, prejudice and and uh, sexist and misogynist or just plain racist people can be because it doesn't feel uh, the needs or the standards of a determined uh, group or individuals. Plus the book uh, has a very interesting uh, dynamic with the way the characters behave with technology and how technology is so integrated in their lives that is, well, it's very similar to how we live nowadays in uh, 2019 as I'm recording this video and the way everything just revolves around uh, the internet and social status via social media pages and all that stuff uh, they have this uh, dating app that pairs everybody sort of like a like an eHarmony thing uh, but it, it pairs them up for uh, dating and mating purposes so everything can continue and I just think it's bonkers that people will deny other uh, couples their love simply because they don't match the standard or they don't follow a, a, a law per se. Now I don't want to get too uh, into the whole topic because I know somebody will probably dislike it because I am talking about uh, uh, these themes that are so uh, hot button issues <laughs> in the world. So just know that uh, it, it is a 
beautiful drawn book. Mirka's artwork is spectacular. I absolutely love it. Aside from, uh, you know, the exposed uh, not, surf, not safe for work bits, uh, it, it looks astonishing. Like when you have when you have panels like this. So yeah, I don't know. Part of the appeal is seeing how these characters. Uh, look, because we're so used to human characters that I guess it's fun to uh, visualize these stories with, uh, you know, characters that aren't necessarily uh, human-like, you know. Uh, there's an appeal to that, I guess. Plus, there's this whole fandom that, that really likes that stuff. I was just curious. This is not my forte, but I gotta say, as a fan of, her, of the artist... Uh, online and stuff I think uh, she did a really splendid job with the artwork it looks uh, really cool to me the only drawback or negative thing uh, here's Leslie with her friends uh, she enjoys sushi and just hanging out and, and, and talking about stuff uh, the only negative thing I would say is the wording and the I don't know if it's the translation or, or not but the wording and the way the lines are delivered by the characters, they might, they read a little bit too superficial or too simple. Like, like I'm reading a lot of Valley Girl talk, you know, where other comic books might have a little bit more sophistication to their dialogue. This is a little bit simple. It progresses later on and you do get some very interesting, interesting themes, but for the actual, uh, script or lines or however you want to say it it could be a little bit tighter in my opinion um also uh i didn't mention at the beginning here's some more uh cool artwork i didn't mention at the beginning that leslie is getting some very uh naughty uh dreams about this white wolf obviously she can't date him uh because they're prohibited from doing that or else they'll get jail time or possibly murdered and this has to do with the main plot because uh, you know it, there's a purpose to it there's a purpose to that dream there's like this um, a destiny that's about to be fulfilled or the characters are learning about it and yeah you see the, the how the world works and it's it's a it's a fairly simple yet pretty comic to look at i think uh for being a solo endeavor and mirka doing not only the uh pencils and colors and the script and uh everything she's a one woman army if you will she does a fantastic job with unnatural i don't know as of this post how long the series is i do know there's a volume two with uh more issues i i would assume it is a total of eight plus issues, um, but it's 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 interesting. If you look past the odd premise, you might enjoy a fun, kooky version of uh, of a possible way that humans might want to live their life by restricting uh, the parameters of what love is or should be i don't know that's my take on it i know there's some people out there that might hate this type of book and concept but be open to interpretation just be wary that it does go into not safe for work imagery so it might not be for everybody it is rated uh m uh, for mature if i'm not mistaken it's an image title so you sort of know what you're getting by those standards and uh, yeah, Unnatural from Mirka Andorfo. I am very much looking forward to her volume two of the series. Have you read Unnatural? Let me know what you thought down below if you have. If you haven't, let me know if you like any other uh, comic book with anthropomorphic animals. It's, it's pretty interesting. I'm, I'm open to the idea to, <laughs> of reading uh, bizarre series after bizarre series if that makes any sense i don't know 
guys, thank you so much. This was sort of a quick review. I just wanted to share my thoughts on Unnatural and and hopefully you like this video. And thank you so much for supporting A Week in Geekdom. We have so many new followers and I'm very excited about that. Look forward to more reviews soon-ish. I'm also participating in the Omnibus Collectors Network, so if you don't see me posting on this channel, just know that I am on Omnibros Live, usually Mondays and Thursdays, usually. So yeah, that's it for now. I will catch all of you on our next video.